Did you know that the M1A2 Abrams main battle tank produced by General Dynamics Land Systems has a combat weight of 63 tons, making it the heaviest tank currently in operational service? It is equipped with a 120mm gun and has a top speed of 68 km per hour, but this tank does not even qualify for the top 10 heaviest tank list. There were a lot of other heavier tanks in World War II, commonly called the Super Heavy Tanks. They are notably beyond the standard of the class heavy tank in either size or weight relative to contemporary vehicles. And guys, just adding a disclaimer, there are a lot of German tanks on our list today and I may actually butcher some of the names, so I'm apologizing in advance for the mispronunciation. Anyway, let's have a look at these tanks. At number 10 is the Jagdtiger tank. AKA the Hunting Tiger, it is a German heavy tank destroyer from World War II with a capacity of 6 crew. The 71-ton Jagdtiger was the heaviest armored fighting vehicle used operationally by any participant nation of the World War II and it is the heaviest combat vehicle of any type to achieve series production during the conflict. At number 9 is the TOG-1 tank. A British heavy tank produced in the early part of the Second World War in the expectation that the battlefields might end up like those of the First World War. It was designed so it could cross churned up countryside and trenches and it had a crew capacity of 8, length of 10 meters and a weight of 90 short tons. At number 8 is the A39 Tortoise. The Tortoise Heavy Tank was a British heavy assault gun design developed during World War II mainly for the task of clearing heavily fortified areas such as the Siegfried Line and as a result favored armor protection over mobility. Only six crew members could fit in and A39 weighs up to 78 tons. At number 7 is the T-28 Super Heavy Tank. An American heavily armored tank destroyer during World War II that was originally designed to be used to break through German defenses at the Siegfried Line and was later considered as a possible participant in an invasion of the Japanese mainland. Its length is 11.1 meters and a weight of 95 short tons. At number 6 is the K-Wagon. The K-Wagon, short for GK Wagon, was a German super heavy tank, two prototypes of which were almost completed by the end of World War I. The crew capacity of this tank was up to 27 and the vehicle originally weighed 165 tons, but this was reduced to a more practicable 120 tons by shortening the length. Now coming to the top 5 heaviest tanks, Type 120 OI tank. OI was the name given to a proposed series of Japanese super heavy tanks to be used in the Pacific theater. The vehicle was to be very heavy and carry 11 crewmen, only one prototype was completed which had a length of 10 meters and a weight of up to 120 tons. At number 4 is FCM F1 tank. The FCM F1 was a tank developed by the French between the end of the World War I and beginning of World War II. The FCM F1 was large and elongated and had two turrets, one in front and one in the back. It could accommodate nine crew, had a length of 10.53 meters and 139 tons heavy. At number 3 is Panzerkampf Wagon E100. The Panzerkampf Wagon E100 was a German super heavy tank design developed towards the end of World War II. It was proposed to be the basis for a heavy artillery system, an anti-aircraft vehicle and a heavy tank destroyer. The tank could only carry 6 crew, had a length of 10.27 meters and a mass of 140 tons. At number 2 is ARL Tractor C. Another French heavy tank that was meant to be extremely and heavily armored for that time period. ARLC was intended to be very long to fill up the requirement of having a long tank that could cross trenches up to 7 meters wide. It had a length of 12 meters and a weight of 145 tons. At number 1 is Panzer 8 Mouse. Panzerkampf Wagon 8 Mouse was a German World War II super heavy tank completed in late 1944. It is the heaviest fully enclosed armored fighting vehicle ever built. Five were ordered, but only two hulls and one turret were completed, the turret being attached before the testing grounds were captured by advancing Soviet military forces. It had a length of 10.2 meters and a weight of up to 188 tons. 
So guys, we're winding up the video, but before that, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button. We'll see you in our next video, stay tuned.